everyone, it's Tutorial Tuesday, and this week I want to show you guys how to download, extract, and upload SVG files on the iPhone iPad app. Uh, what you're going to need to do first is download the app iZip. It looks like this one right here, you'll see on the bottom right corner. And I'm going to go to lovesvg.com and I'm going to download a file from there. Uh, all of her files are free for personal use, so it's easy for you guys to follow along with this process on her site. I'm going to just select this baby it's cold outside file um, right here. I'm going to scroll down to the download the zip file bar and I'm going to select that. And another window is going to pop up and it's going to say open an iZip. So you have to make sure it's downloaded before you do this process. I'm going to open an iZip and it will come up and it will say, would you like to extract all files? I will say, okay. It's going to extract them. And then we are going to go to the Cricut Design Space app and I'm going to go to the upload button on the bottom left here. And I'm going to browse files and it's going to most likely come up on your recents. If you have nothing recent, go over to browse and I'm going to go over to on my iPad. I'm going to select iZip because that's where it is. I'm going to select the folder option, the blue folder here. It's going to say, baby, it's cold outside and I'm going to again, select that folder. And this one here that's on the upper right hand um, is going to be your SVG, this one with the um, it really has no icon on it. It's got the two blue rectangles. You click that and that is your SVG. So you can save it. I will title it, baby, it's cold outside. And you'll know it's the SVG because it goes right to this screen here. And I'm going to save it in the upper right hand corner over there. And then it's going to bring me to all of my uploaded files we can close out of that but if you wanted to retrieve it again you can go back to upload and you can go to open uploaded images and it's right there or you can go over to your image and um, if you select images you can just say baby it's cold you don't even have to do the whole thing you can get enough of it or it's going to bring up our file and here it is right here on the right and we can insert it and then you'll see it is the SVG which we already knew once you hit make it in case you have never done something that's multi colored yet you'll see it's going to break it down into pieces for you on the upper left hand corner here are your other mats and you can see that it's not all in place. So you can go back to your canvas up here on the upper right hand corner where your canvas is and you can pull up your layers and you can select um, all of your like colors. These seem to be grouped. So we can go to actions and ungroup it. And then in your layers panel, you can select um, by pressing and holding all of your like colors and that's going to, and then you can go to, you're still in your actions so you can attach. You can just go through and you can do that with all of your like colors and then it will keep everything as is. But the